Hey everybody, I uh, want to do a short video on how the map channels work in SoloStorm. So this is how to use map channels in SoloStorm. Uh, we're going to start with going under settings here, and the first thing we need to do is actually set up our map channel, so what we want it to be. Uh, under settings, if you scroll down under application settings, you're going to get your logger and map channels. So in this area, this is where you're going to set up your RPMs, throttle if you have a race capture, uh, or the uh, Porsche information will come in there. Um, interesting thing, just to give you an example of uh, what you can do, uh, I actually have a my brake is actually coming from uh, a simulated channel on my race capture. Um, I don't have a brake pressure sensor, so I actually use a math channel. Uh, in order to do that. So if I click on break, the channel source is uh, is my simulated break channel uh, from my race capture. Alright, so let's go down to the bottom here. So here are all our math channels and I've got quite a few that uh, I'm using and testing out. But we're gonna work with math channel number two. So let's go ahead and uh, select math channel number two. And this is the screen that you'll get. So um, a few things. Up at the top here, this is our expression. This is the actual math channel. Uh, in this case, it says equal error, and I'll explain that in the middle in a minute. Uh, to the right of that, the first thing we have, this first little box, just tells you all your different channels. So these are all the different um, channels that you can use. And if you click on one of them, they'll actually put it into the expression. So if I, uh, if I press roll, then you see roll goes into the expression. Uh, in the middle button, we get how all the different maths that you can do, right? What does addition look like? Well, if you want to add two things together, use a plus sign, A plus B. A minus B, star, division, exponential, all this stuff. So any math that you want to do, this is what it looks like. Logical if, I use the if function very a lot, that's down at the bottom here. Uh, there we go, if. condition is what your math is. If it's true, do this. If it's false, do this. I use it a lot to, um, uh, since most math channels get kind of funky below, say, a certain speed. So if you're using this for autocross, not the track, it can be very helpful. All right, so, uh, and then the one on the right just undoes what you may have done before. So uh, there is a help in the lower left-hand function. Uh, if you push help, it's going to bring up the help. So it'll describe a little bit more uh, and also reiterate sort of like what's going on. Back to math channel two. So let's take a look at the expression here. So the expression I'm using is the one for corner radius. Um, speed in the case of uh, what we're looking at here is always going to be in meters per second. Uh, so meters per second squared divided by acceleration um, and uh, that's also going to be in uh, meters as well. So all metric, all, um, even though I have all my race capture that's imperial, the way it works in solo storm and the way it gets transmitted, um, it's all, it's all metric. So if you wanted to do imperial, then you'd have to, uh, you know, multiply speed by, what is it like 2.237 or something like that. Um, anyway, so here's the expression we want to do. We want to do speed squared divided by the uh, XLX channel. Um, I don't have to have parentheses here. Um, it'll work fine without the parentheses. Uh, so let's see. This was part of a larger channel that I was using. So there we go. So there's no parentheses. Done. And if you notice in the lower right, OK is grayed out. I can't, um, I can't select OK. I can't use my math channel. And the reason for this is, according to SoloStorm, there's an error. The reason why there's an error is because it's using the test input values to check, is this expression valid? So uh, the first thing we want to check is, um, you know, do we have some values here? We need to put in some reasonable values. What do I mean by that? Okay, well, if speed is zero, zero to the second power is zero, divided by zero, if acceleration laterally is zero, well, that those are all zeros. That 
can't divide by zero. <laughs> so we gotta put in something reasonable. So even if I leave speed zero and I just put in something for acceleration, let's say I put in one. Um, also a, a quirk for whatever reason, if I push next, I, I seem to have to push it like twice before I get it done. And then when I do that, if you notice the number is now zero, when I push done, we're gonna look at it, it's gonna say one. I don't know why it does this. All I can say is it does it. All right, so here we have acceleration is one. If you look at the top, instead of saying error, it now says 0, 0.0. So speed to the second power, speed is zero, zero to the second power is zero, divided by one is zero. So those are the answers we get. If I change speed, if I put in one for speed, we get one. One divided by one is one. Excuse me, one to the second power is one. One times one is one. One divided by one is one. <laughs> so um, you can use the test values if you'd like to check out your, you know, if you're, if you're copying this from a book, you can put in those values that are in the book. You can see if you get the same answer. Um, so it's a great way to check uh, what's going on. Now, let's go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a mistake on purpose. I'm gonna add in a parentheses. Now we get the error back. So if you know you have some reasonable values in there and you're getting an error, check your parentheses. Um, when you start using like if statements and um, you start you know, using more parentheses in your math channels, it, it can be very easy to, um, to make that mistake. Uh, also, uh, another common mistake is like, let's say for some reason you're doing speed squared divided by 0.5. I don't know why you do this, but just as a hypothetical. So here uh, we have speed squared divided by 0.5. Um, the speed is one, that's what we put in for our test value. So one times one is one, one divided by 0.5 should give us a number, and not an error. The reason for this is the third most kind of common weird thing that I found is that before the zero, before this point, you need to have a zero. So if you want to do this expression, if you want to divide by a number less than one, it has to have a zero, right? So now we have speed is one, one times one is one, one divided by 0.5 is two. And we get that two up at the top. All right, let's change this back to Excel X. So if we didn't want to type Excel X, we could go over here, Excel X. We get one. So now we have in the bottom right hand corner our OK is orange. OK. And there's our match out. So let's go back. Let's go to analysis. Uh, I already have some analysis loaded up in here. Um, so if you're just putting in this math channel or you're changing your math channel, you'll need to reload the logs. So I'm just going to go logs, browse from the same event. I'm not changing anything. My run four is already selected. I'm gonna push okay. It's gonna reload. And at this point, the math channel is gonna work. All right, we're working on math channel two. And here's our math channel. So, um, you know, this is corner radius. There's a lot of different ways to work with this sort of data. I definitely put, it, it's already in SoloStorm, right? So if we wanted to look at um, SoloStorm's version, Okay, sorry, just, just so that I'm clear, let me go back. I'm clicking on the little lightning bolt here. It would be to the left of the little bar graph on the very top. So logs are on the upper right, then we have the uh, little bar graph, then we have the traces. And if I go down to where is it? Corner radius. Roll, math, ah, turn radius, there we go. And I'm gonna turn off this other math channel so that we can just see our corner radius channel. So here we go, here's turn radius. Uh, and you can see uh, he does some filtering and some other things so that we don't get these really large uh, numbers when we're going straight. Um, and so this is why I wouldn't 
particularly use this channel in the way that it's used and the stuff in Soulstorm is really well thought out so um, you know obviously the built-in turn radius channel is going to be more effective because uh, he clips these really high numbers so uh, like give an example where's our really tall one here we go so this one right here we're going straight for a considerable period of time so you know the number gets to be really high like 8,000 um, and uh, Soulstorm you know filters that because that just makes the graph really small so believe it or not Math Channel 2 and, and these are, are, are very close. Obviously, they all make the same shapes, but the scale is better uh, with the built-in function. Anyway, that's uh, how math channels work, and I uh, hope you found that helpful because we're going to keep suggesting some different math channels.